Ahoy, ahoy, good morning, friends. Welcome to a little happy chappy corner. Uh, I wanted to do a little talk on yesterday's reading because in Lent there's always Mass on at St. Anne's on, on Friday, which I love to go to. And and uh, the Gospel reading is a really interesting one. And um, whenever I approach, approach Scripture, I think it's so important to remember what Jesus always talked about saying repent which means metanoia which means going beyond the mind you have changing your mind changing your perspective and that's how god is always pulling us forward in life and so every time i do a reading you look at what it says and most of the time it's kind of like what and then you look deeper and it and it's just oh it makes so much sense so father richard Rohr is one of my heroes and uh um crimping my bangs, if you will, on the way he looks at scripture. And this one, he's talking about, um, Jesus tells this parable of the wicked tenants, he says, and, and he ends up, um, I just want to read the one part and I'll go from there. So the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Uh, Father Richard Rohr, in, in talking about this idea of the, the stone that the, the, that the builders rejected, um, is really interesting because it goes on to say that that the stone will um, uh, it's like everything that we reject everything that makes that makes us fear and makes us hate so some individuals that are say racist and they look at a person of a different a different skin color and they they think that they're bad and they hate them and and what he's and what this is saying is like no 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 that thing that you're rejecting that's actually the thing that you need to get closer to and that you need to realize uh, that once you get to know those people once you spend time with them once you take away your judgment and and that that becomes your cornerstone because you realize wait a minute you you're just like me we're the same um and all of a sudden you can't be racist anymore and all of a sudden you can't hate a person for their 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 gender preference and all of a sudden you can't because when you get to know them as their deepest core being which is children of god you see that sets you free because you're no longer judging now you're just living with and embracing and walking together and so this reading where these men they 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 uh, it's called the parable of the wicked tenants and and they end up killing and hurting these people that they don't like or trying to trying to get a step up by killing the man's son to be able to get their inheritance um and and then jesus saying well look you keep doing that it's going to be a miserable miserable death because it's true you can't find life in hating people um you can't it's not about later on and this this sin and pun this fear of punishment that's very very human way of thinking it's like no 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 the kingdom of god God is at hand right here right now and and how do you do it is by getting to know each other and by looking at the what is the thing that you are fearing and now maybe try to get closer to that to get to know those people and 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 realize that they're they're beloved of children of God just like you are and then all of a sudden that veil is lifted and and you realize how connected you are and you can't help but care for each other and you can't help but love each other and all of a sudden it's not okay that there's homeless people on the street and all of a sudden it's not okay that that the money is being taken from the people that need it most and all of a sudden it's not okay that um that people aren't getting the mental health uh that they need because there's there's not enough funding for it or whatever it may be uh, it, but it's a beautiful way to life and that's where you'll find life in abundance so the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone so this Lenten season may we have the courage to look at what are the things that we're scared of what, how, what are the judgments that we're casting how can we bring ourselves closer to these people to these things and and then to love them and, and get to know them and realize once you, you can't demonize uh, something that you realize is, is human and beautiful uh, just like you. Grace and peace.